Thank you for joining me once again on Crunch Econometrics. This is the sixth of nine GMM video series. And we'll be looking at how to decide between using either the difference or system GMM estimator. By now, we are familiar with the model on the screen. This is the model that we have been working with right from the onset of this GMM series. So how do we decide into using either the difference or the system GMM? There are two rules of thumb. The first rule of thumb is from Blondell and Bond 1998. And this is what they said. If the dependent variable in an equation like this was persistent and close to being a random walk, that is, the parameter of the lag dependent variable is tilting towards one, the application of the different GMM estimator will yield both a biased and inefficient estimate of the parameter in finite samples. And this is particularly severe when the time span is short. And Blondell and Bond attribute the poor performance of the different GMM estimator in this situation to the use of poor instruments. And to address this, they propose to use system GMM estimator. The second rule of thumb is from Bond 2001. And Bond 2001 was able to provide a clearer path that will easily guide a researcher in deciding whether to use difference or system GMM. And this is what he said. The autoregressive model should be initially estimated by pooled OLS and also by fixed effects approach. The pooled OLS estimates for the parameter of the lag dependent variable should be considered an upper bound estimate, while the corresponding fixed effects estimate should be considered a lower bound estimate. If the difference GMM estimates obtained is close to or below the fixed effects estimate, this suggests that the difference GMM estimate is also downward biased because of weak instrumentation. Therefore, a system GMM estimator should be preferred. So you can see that Bond 2001 has a clearer way by which we can easily decide. So this tutorial will follow the second rule of thumb. So this is what Bond 2001 said. Once you estimate this model by Pudo LS, whatever you obtain as the coefficient of the large dependent variable is assumed to be biased upwards, while the same coefficient for the fixed effects estimation procedure is biased downwards. You estimate the same model using difference GMM, and if that estimate lies below or is close to fixed effects, it also means that the difference GMM estimate is downward biased. And to correct that, you have to estimate the model with the system GMM estimator. So I have outlined the procedure that we are going to take in this tutorial here. Step one, we estimate the model by pooled OLS. Step two, we estimate the same model by fixed effects. Step three, we estimate the same model using the difference GMM. We observe the outcome in step four and we take our decision. So if you are ready, load your data and let's get started. So we are now in Stata. My log file is on to track all I'll be doing in this tutorial. Here's my data editor with the same set of observations and panel of countries, 54 of them. The first is Algeria and the 54th country is Zimbabwe. Every other data characteristics remain the same. Here's the do file for this tutorial. This do file will be available on my website, but make sure you have a Google account and a Chrome browser. All the codes are written here. So these are the codes we'll be executing to see how we can decide between the difference or the system GMM. So let's get started. The first thing we have to do is to run this command, xtset, to prepare stata to run panel data estimations. I execute that. And here we have the stata message. I have a strongly balanced panel, so we are good to go. Step one, let's estimate this using pooled OLS. This is the command for pooled OLS. I execute this. And here's the output from the pooled OLS. Our main coefficient of interest is that of the lag dependent variable. And here you can see that the coefficient is 0.984. Please make sure you note down this figure, 0.984. Step two, let's estimate the same model now with fixed effects estimation technique. I highlight, I execute. Here we have the output for the fixed effects model. And again, this is our coefficient of interest. You can see 0.6377. Make sure you note it. So let's run the third one. Now we have to estimate that same model using difference GMM. So we are going to use one step and two step difference. So let's execute the one step difference. 
and let's observe the outcome. This is the output for the one step difference. You can see at the top of the table here, one step difference. And again, this is our coefficient of interest. The value is 0 0.7306. Make sure you note this. So lastly, let's execute uh, the two step difference GMM command for the same model and observe the results. You can see at the top of the table, two step difference. And this is the coefficient that we are interested in, 0 0.8012. I have moved all these figures to a table in PowerPoint with proper annotations. On the screen is a table of coefficients extracted from Stata. Recall that this is the coefficient from pooled OLS. This is the coefficient from fixed effects. And these are the coefficients from the different GMM estimators. Born 2001 said, that if after using the difference GMM estimator and your coefficient is lower than the fixed effects estimates or very close to the fixed effects estimate, then you have to use the system GMM. But looking at what we have, we can see here that the estimates from both difference GMM estimators are well above that of the fixed effects. They are closer to that of pool dwellers. So in this situation, using the system GMM may be of little benefit to this model. But that may not be the case in your own uh, model. So you can try it and look at your outcome. And this is what I wrote here. Estimate from the difference GMM suggests that there may be little benefit to using the system GMM estimator in this particular case. Even though I've estimated the model again, Using the system GMM, you can see that I have two figures here. The first figures is for uh, the model with the equation level sub-option. Remember, I mentioned that in the system GMM videos. While the uh, last two estimates is when you augment that uh, syntax without using the equation level sub-option. So in my own data, I may end up using just the difference GMM to estimate this model. So you need to read up on difference and system GMM, please. Any of these articles will suffice and there are so many articles too on the internet. Video tutorials are not sufficient. Please read up to buttress your understanding. Please don't go away. In the next video, I will show you how to interpret GMM outputs. Once again, thank you for watching. Please share my videos with your cohorts. Join my Facebook community. Please join me on Twitter. Join me on Reddit. Always remember that Crunch Econometrics is dedicated to beginners and intermediate users. Please don't go away. I'll be right back.